Well, howdy ho. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Source Fed podcast. I'm your host, Stephen Suptic, brought to you today with the one, the only, Matt Lieberman. Yo. How's it going? And Candace Carazales. I thought, you know, I thought you were going to introduce me first because you were looking at me. The question is, are Candace and I siblings? We have been asking each other that this whole day. All day long. We looked at each other today and said, Sometimes I feel like I'm looking at myself. <laughs> you know what question I've also been asking this entire day? What? No, no. Is no. this cockroach still alive? No, 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 no. Put that shit away, Steve. For God's Steve sake. Steve decided it was a Ugh. good idea to pick up a dead cockroach on the floor today, trying to pick it up with some sand. He first tried some... Like, silly putty sand. Silly putty sand. It didn't work. It crumbled. Yeah. It gets so then real he got soft. a. So then he got a silly putty can little canister of silly putty and put the uh, cockroach in there. And that worked. So now I've got. Um, <sighs> and now he just has a little canister with a dead cockroach. A dead in cockroach it. in and it. And he keeps trying to get people to open it and, and touch it. And it is the worst thing gross. that happened to this office in a long time. On another note, this podcast is brought to you today by Squarespace.com. I use Squarespace uh, very frequently for my website, actually, my StephenSuptic.com website. And I get only, it's like a questionnaire. So you go on StephenSuptic.com and you type in, it just gives you like a business inquiry. So you're supposed to type in business inquiries on it. However, uh, all I get are like, can I fuck you, daddy? That's all I get. <laughs> That's the only thing that I ever, I could pull up countless emails of, it's the same dude. Only one person knows. Now more people know about the website, but only one person has known about stevensuptic.com for this long. And he's just been sending me, can I fuck you, daddy, for three months now. Can, who is it? Who, what does this person look like? How old are they? What are they doing? Why do they, why does anyone want to send that to anybody? Does it, why does it, who's, who would do that? I don't know. It's not me. I don't know, man. Anyway, today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. <laughs> Whether you need a landing page, a beautiful gallery, a professional blog, or an online store, it's all included with your Squarespace website. Creating your website with Squarespace is a simple, intuitive process. You can add and arrange your content and features with the click of a mouse using Squarespace's award-winning templates. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash sourcefed and, you enter, and enter your offer code sourcefed to get 10% off of your first purchase. If you sign up for a year, you'll receive a custom domain for a year. Now... Don't for just free. have for business inquiries like I do. Learn from me. Have a website that's like that means something. Don't just have it for just a, some 13-year-old can message you as for a, bus a business. It's a business inquiry email, and he just messages me, fuck me, daddy. Who is? <laughs> so back to that cockroach. Yeah, can we talk um... about this fucking cock? Don't take it out again. I swear to God, I just need Steve to prove it that no, it's here. Steven, I swear to God, you don't need to do that. It is. I put a little gummy so in it so it wouldn't smell bad. Disgusting. And foul, not just because you're trying to get people to touch a dead cockroach. Okay. That which cockroach is, is gonna. You're gonna open that tomorrow, and it's gonna be squirming around in there. It's, alive. it's also kind of animal say... cruelty because you essentially kill the cockroach. No, 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 no. The no, cockroach no. died of natural causes. It, it was, was already, already dead. dead. Oh, yeah, no, it was sorry. already dead. All right. Well, that's we want to make that clear. Make that very clear. The cockroach okay. was already dead. All right. Dead. Well, then you are parading around the corpse of a cockroach. But I'm not parading it around. It's more of a friend figure at this point. Mm, that speaks to mental illness. <laughs> <laughs> like, just deep mental illness. I think that it's, like, it's not a big deal. I think it's just, I did look it up, and cockroaches, even dead, can spread diseases. Yep. Woohoo! Like salmonella. But if I were to get salmonella, with all the cookie dough I've eaten in the past couple of weeks, one pack a night at least... I should have had salmonella a long time ago, so I don't think I have to worry about anything from this cockroach. Uh, okay, then eat it. <laughs> eat the cockroach, man. The cockroach. Are you daring me to eat this cockroach live on camera? For <laughs> yeah, Source live Fed? on camera. Oh, man. What? Eat it, eat it, eat it. <laughs> How much would you pay me to eat a cockroach? She's not None. saying that she's going to I'm not going to pay you. you. I'm just she's telling you if you're, you're like a little wimp if you don't. If you like salmonella so much, eat the goddamn cockroach. Well, I'm yeah. saying is, if this is, if this has like a lot of money behind it, we should start a Kickstarter. Steve, all you Welcome do back is to talk source about... Fed. Uh, I'm Candice Carazales. <laughs> and I'm Matt Lieberman. Uh, recently, young tall boy Stephen Subdick died from salmonella poisoning 
after not being a wimp and totally choking am, down that cockroach. I am honestly missing him so much. I really think he was my brother, and I never mm-hmm. got to tell him. You know, I never got to ask him to get a blood test. Yeah, you never got to figure out it, exactly it how sucks. much of that blood is mixed. I know. For $1,000, oh, I would he's here. Eat- I'm oh, back, wow. guys. Oh, my God. To oh. eat the cockroach live oh, on camera. But oh, you, I thought again. you already ate. I thought we were in the future. Yeah, Sorry. See, oh. I thought we were doing a source Weird. fed white wall about yeah. it. We were going to go to a great bit where we were both dressed up as cockroaches right. and we were getting eaten by a CGI uh, mouth. Don't eat me, yeah. Oh, ew, 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 don't eat me. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, That's what I say if somebody's trying to uh, eat Let me just tell me. you guys that Gen X Men is no joke. Gen X Men. <laughs> is the name of the cockroach. It's, it's as simple as that. Gen <laughs> X, man. All right. <laughs> I know you guys didn't want to talk about anything serious on the SourceFed podcast, so I decided to keep it light and just ask a simple question. Is cultural appropriation real? And should I feel guilty about anything? So today is the anniversary of uh, when my parents' divorce got finalized. <laughs> Um, and I found that out through Facebook, through wait, Facebook wait, wait, memories. Wait, wait. You're kidding. It was a Facebook memory? Yeah, it was a Facebook memory. I was on Facebook memories and, uh, it, my, my Facebook status from 2010, October, uh, what, October 3rd, 3rd, 2010. And it just said the divorce is over dot, dot, dot at last. And I was like, what makes this <laughs> oh okay, what part of me thought this was an okay thing to what, post? How old were you at that point? Uh, like 14. 14. 14. Um, and I was just, like I guess I was just. up in your pain when you're Yeah, 14. I mean, the divorce went on for years. So yeah. I think I was pumped it was over, but it got zero likes, zero comments. Yeah, because I'm sure everyone looked at that on their timeline and was like, ooh. <laughs> this is rough. This is awkward. I uh, I'm really just happy that my parents are perfectly fine. That's great. Yeah, that's yeah, good. They've for you. Uh, they've supported me a really long time, and uh, that's cool. No Facebook they memories for me. <laughs> 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 so looking back on that, did you did you feel anything? What's your reaction? Your YouTube reaction? Well, I'm crying in the source-fed bathroom here. <laughs> it's the so- it, yeah. the source-fed bathroom for like three hours while you guys were all at lunch. <sighs> We went to lunch together. Oh, right. Never mind. I guess I didn't cry and I didn't <laughs> care. <laughs> well, it's like that Louis We just C. went K. to Steven's house and ate leftover pizza. <laughs> and I picked up peppers for Audrey. Oh. Yeah, some green bell peppers. Okay. Yeah, I'm the source fed pharmacist. Is that the proper term? Farm- no. Pharmacist? Pharmacist would be for pills. Oh. Yeah, that would be that for medication. That cockroach is not a pill. Definitely not. Well, when she was alive, you better believe she was a pill. How do you know it's a you girl? you know what I mean. Did you really just assume my cockroach is gender? I'm just... Uh, you already assumed that the cockroach's gender was Jen. a boy. Gen X? Like, Generation X. His name is Generation. See, you're assuming that it's oh. a boy, so why are you assuming the gender of the cockroach? I know a girl who spells her name Matt? G-E-N. Cockroaches don't have dicks. All right. Is that real? Cockroaches don't have dicks. Right, keep keep Let's talking. Let's Google is, it up. This is pretty important to me. Uh, uh, <sighs> looking at a piano. Uh, do cockroaches have dicks? The answer is... Do cockroaches have dicks? So there you have it. Cockroaches, they have no penis. Why do you know that? But they do have a lot of things that are frequently called a penis. A male, I didn't know that. A male cockroach has a better chance of passing on his genes if he can get rid of the competing sperm. So I don't know. What, what, so they send out fighting sperm or they scrape away bad sperm? I didn't click the link. Hold, this is all it gave me. Hold from, on. Do I need is, to go further into it? I'm sorry. I was I was making a common sense assumption of insects not having penises, but now I'm finding out that they have the best chance of, of surviving if they fight off and destroy enemy semen. Are you telling me that most bugs don't have penises? Of course. This is news to me. Is it news to you, Candace? Penises belong uh, to mammals. It's not like news. I mean, I've never thought about it until right now, and it's not a surprise. I that I'm almost entirely sure that only mammals have penises. I thought that all on all, all exoskeletons, there'd be a penis here or there. There's one at least. Oh no, birds have penises. I'm cr- I'm sorry. Get me out Not of this true. room. <laughs> Geese have penises. Geese do have penises. What if I just uh, went <laughs> and just <laughs> shot up? And just shot up in the air and never amazing. came back. I was like, get me out of this. And room. you're up in the sky, and your parents are up there, and you guys are all hugging. Why are her parents dead now? 
Oh, that's just, what that would... No, what in that the mean sky, dead. we're just in an airplane or something. Oh, They're just yeah. like waving by an airplane, not together in separate airplanes. Got it. So it's not like you're puncturing an airplane, therefore rendering it useless. No, I'm just in the sky going up, and then on my way back down, I see my parents... Well, I'll just see my mom in an airplane yeah, going to like a nice tropical island vacation. She deserves a good time. Yeah. Your mom's mm-hmm. great. Yeah, Steven loves my mom. They Have hang out met? a lot. I'm great yeah. with parents in general. I assume that our our relationship would be no different. Do your uh, ladies' parents, do, do they like you? Surprisingly, yeah. Hmm. Actually, yeah. I hope. I mean, I'm sure they think I'm a little wacky. What are, in their eyes, what are their favorite qualities of you? Tall, um, loves their daughter, and has a good a good time. Doesn't say anything. I'm not crude or crass around them. I'm a very pristine oh. They should Young. listen Didn't you to say this. you built a website just gonna, so that I'm kids could email ask you them to fuck this. them? <laughs> Didn't you build a website where you explicitly said 13-year-olds come to ask you to fuck them? You're not crass? Not a, no, I wouldn't say that around them if you want to email them that. that so would you're be hiding your ruiner. true identity from your girlfriend's parents. That's what we're getting down to. Yeah. You're a little liar. You're leading, leading a double you're life. You're leading a double life and... Uh, this is an intervention. So yeah. When you guys, okay, you've met obviously a significant other's parents at some point, right? Nope. No, really? I have. Steve, <sighs> Stephen, I wrote this letter for this intervention because I care about you. No, I don't okay? need. An Sit down. Please Shh, just be quiet. Listen. Just, just listen, listen to him. Okay? I just, just listen. No, I'm, listen, Stephen, listen. Someday, these two roads are going to collide. And when they do, I don't know that all of these close friends that we have here in this room are going to be there to watch the wreckage. We care about you too much to let you go on leading two separate lives and one day losing the love of your life because of your inability to show who you really are. Okay, I'll show it with his parents my dick pic site. I'll show them. Oh, I don't, I, that's not what that's we were saying. That's a separate yeah. issue. Yeah, wait, you're collecting the 13-year-old I'll, sh- I'll show them the, my business and craze website. I'll show them that I'm one. I'm so upset right now. I'm going to throw up and maybe puke or poop a little. Hold I'm, on, Candace. you got to read You got to read your letter my first. my own little corner, in my own little chair, I can be whatever I want to be. I just want to say... Dear Stephen, um, I'm just so concerned uh, about you fucking up this relationship with your girlfriend's parents and because the, then they might blast you on social media. But what if we accidentally switch? We look the same. And what if your parents actually accidentally think I'm your girlfriend's girlfriend and then they, my career gets ruined because we look the same? So please be just true and real to them and let them know you're Steven and not Candace Carazales. Thank you, Candace. That's my intervention letter, I think. It's kind of it was kind of more about you. Oh. It was a little more self serving. More for you for sure. Uh, be safe and uh, stay hang in there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, there's Candace. Yeah. Stephen and I asked you here to Steven's intervention. You guys can't reverse psychology there. It's actually a secret intervention for you, oh, Candace. Damn and I, it. I wrote this letter. <sighs> Sorry to this say. This is about me being thick. I can't no, do anything Candace, about Candace, that. Candace, I swear it's not about okay. thickness. Okay, I can't do anything about uh, Can- being the high because I'm the not high. Candace, you need to you need listen to, hear to this. this and I'm boring. You need to hear yeah, this. Yeah, maybe I'm a little bit boring. You but need to I hear this. Boring Candace, this please just listen to the mail. Okay. Okay. Denial is not just a river in Egypt, okay? <sighs> Dear Candace. Candy. Oh, can slice. <laughs> Let me finish. Let me finish. Oh, okay. Candy can can de can can can. Cancun. Oh, candy spice. Cacanda. Candy sacarazales. Candace. Read the part about her brother. <clears throat> you can't just make everything in life oh, about okay. you, dog. Oh. Sometimes other people need your your help, dog. Oh. We came here to help out Steven Subdick, dog. Oh. And instead, you, dog, oh. you made it about you, dog. Shit. Yeah. Imagine Steve really is your brother. We haven't proved it not true yet. We haven't done the blood test. Because if, if when you do the blood test, you might find out that's a brother. We should right do there. blood tests. Mm, coworkers I have, try um, blood tests. I'd test. like to read. 
coworkers drink each other's blood. For the That's first wrote time. You a poem. Oh, cool. Candace, mm -hmm. with her crummy tits, waved mm -hmm. in the wind to the abysmal <laughs> darkness. Wait, I'm shutting Sorry. this down immediately. <laughs> what? Uh, Steven, this actually this is, is an really intervention an intervention for, for you. you. Um, Who would have seen this coming? S Steven. Um, That's not cool to say crummy tits to your coworker <laughs> or to that your you've sister. only known for a couple weeks. Yeah, I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. I think crummy tits is the funniest adjective for tits I've ever heard. Steven, why? Why do you know. keep That's saying That's degrading the word to tits. women's breasts yeah. and bosoms. Yeah, I'd say crummy dick too. I think crummy is a funny word just in general. Yeah, but aye, aye, just aye. in a in a world, Steven, where there is such a thing as sexual harassment, um, not of the source and defamation else. laws. Uh, you're just, uh, in legal terms, cruising for a bruising. Is that what it says on there? That's what it says. All right. I just wanted to say, you guys, and how excited I am. I would appreciate I if you apologized to Kim. Yeah, I am sorry. Thanks. I am. Um, I just wanted you to know that I... You're so annoying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Carrying around a cockroach, call me crummy tits. What the hell, Steven? I'm done. What is your problem? You're a weirdo today. <laughs> yeah. Getting am, to know uh, the real Steven, mm -hmm. rude. He gives me pizza, then he's mean to me, then he cocks a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> cockroach, because trying to call it, I say cocks It's cock like it's all, all over the place. This is payback. He's even slapping my fucking knee all day. Before that, I was, I can't. <laughs> Wait, Steven has been, for me. Steven has been making me laugh all day, and I just keep smacking his knee. This is like a hitting joke. him, like, shut up. Like, Candace, you no understand way. physical abuse in sibling oh, relationships is a big God. problem. What I'm were we going to talk you? about before this podcast? We had all these ideas we were going to talk about, and now it turned into a I don't know. nightmare I did not for me. Any of those I feel ideas. like I'm in a bad dream right now. Yeah, I'm sorry so I called you everyone crummy tits. I just wish that Don't there was say it again. an apology. <laughs> I wish there was some kind of apology that I could make for saying that you had old crummies. I just want to also say that I've been listening to the SourceFed podcast since it's bringing up. And oh, you're a fan. Yeah, and I was on a big road trip, 30 hours there, 30 hours back recently, and I listened to most of them. All the I way there? really love them. I really do. I really like the SourceFed podcast. Where did you go? I went to my parents' house in Illinois. Oh, boy. Yeah, that was a road trip and a half by myself. Why did you drive there by yourself? Because I thought it would be a fun, view, full road trip, full of scenery, full of wildlife. And I ended up driving 30 hours nonstop and not looking at any of it because I just wanted it to be over. That's what happened to my friends. My friends from Ohio came to visit me recently, and they decided to just drive 30 hours, pretty much, just straight. They were falling asleep while they were driving and stuff. That they didn't sounds wanna, incredibly dangerous. I feel like, yeah, road trip sounds fun, and then you do it, and then you go, never mind, I want this to be over. Well, it's a, like, just buy a plane ticket. I think it depends. Really, even in price, I'd say, mm -hmm. with gas prices. Oh, yeah, it's prices. almost more expensive. It's probably more expensive, because then you also need lodging, you need food, and stuff like that. There you go. Uh, I, I think it all depends on the person. Like, I would like to take a road trip, because I do want to see the country, and, and I don't mind it being start boring. Doing That's it what I like, thought, mm. too. You know? I thought it would be cool. And yeah. It is, for the most part, uncool. It really is. A lot of places, surprisingly, along the highway look the same. I mean, obviously, Utah is going to look a lot different than the Midwest, but you, for five hours, it's desert. Another five hours, desert. 20 hours. That's is... why you got to take an even longer route, bro. Get off those freeways. I mean, I guess I could take the PCH all the way down to Texas. and That's not bad. <laughs> that's where that goes. But uh, the road trip. Really? A lot, no. The road, well, oh, I was it goes like, down just Pacific Cali Coast Highway. Yeah, it I had to think about Texas. that. I mean, I was, that's why I was questioning it. I was like, yeah, really? That doesn't the... make sense. Yeah. <laughs> I, a lot of terrible things did happen to me on the road trip, though. What I else? I lost happened? my wallet. I uh, almost While got, on a road trip. While on a road trip. It was on my way back. That I sounds was, like a mistake. I was about, whew, I don't know how many hours deep, but it was 10 or 15. I was in the middle of Nebraska near Omaha, and I had stopped at a gas station. I had my wallet. I paid everything right and perfectly fine. Then 30 minutes later, I got caught in a speed trap on the highway, and I got pulled over, and I had to reach for my wallet, couldn't find it, and that's when my road trip nightmare started. Would you like to hear more? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's begin. Wait, hold on. Where do you think you lost it? I think I must I must have lost it either at the gas station or the cop stole it. 
but that's a conspiracy theory for another time that I'll bring up in a bit. But I actually went after the cop gave me a warning because uh, it was pretty clear that I was trying to slow down. It was, he just stopped me to like, hey, how fast is how fast does this thing go? I was, uh, and it was like it was. A oh, really... so he pulled you over because you drive a fancy car. Yep, and it was uh, that's happened multiple times, and discrimination is real. I well, want to make that. You were clear. driving so, like a hundred miles an hour in a thirty time. zone today. That is not true. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it is. We have both driven with I, you while you like drive. I, it, you are a it terrible felt like driver. I was in, it felt like I was in on a Six Flags roller coaster, except I could really die. In his old car? I thought I was going to die. I like Because he looks people. down all the time looking through his music. That's not he wasn't doing <sighs> that today, mm-hmm. but he did just go so quickly through this neighborhood road and i was just like oh fuck you know when i, I really first started working, i'm not ready to die today are you have you written down yet your your apology letter after you run over a kid no it's gonna be all improv uh when i when i first started working here and did the the gaming stuff i had zaragoza and reina and i think there was just a, a shooter i think it was anthony back in the day in the in the car and we almost got in a car crash with a fire with a fire truck in the middle of an intersection because I had the music too loud and I was just cruising by and the light was still green and I had no idea that a fire... That was the closest I've ever come to death and I've driven safely ever since, which is a lie. Um, Anyway, back to the road trip. That's a complete lie. She's just talking about today. Yeah. Back to the road trip. I lost my wallet. I went back to the gas station. It wasn't at the gas station, so I was like, well, this is fucked. Either someone, because there was a bar that let out real, real close to where the gas station was, so I was like, well, maybe someone found it. Called the bar. They were like, nah, dog. So I went back on my road trip. I had about 300 miles left. It wasn't even going to get me to Denver. So I had to call up. I called Alyssa, and she was like, we got to figure this problem out because you're my sweet baby. And I'm like, thanks, Alyssa. You're my sweet baby. So we didn't figure it out, and I ended up uh, having to go to, uh, to I don't remember. It was some really shitty town in Nebraska, and my parents had to help me because my dad had to go to Wells Fargo. Stop yawning. This is really important. I had to go to Wells Fargo or some some Western Union. I had to go to Western Union. Guys, come on, it's, it gets better. I had to go to I had to go to Western Union. I got home safe. So another thing that happened, I got in. A, I almost got in a really terrible accident on the highway. Um, I was a hundred miles outside of Las Vegas, and the roads were wet. Rain was everywhere. It was just abysmal weather. What happened was, now pay attention closely, because this is how the story goes. I, uh, um, I, cr- I skidded on the. Welcome back to the SourceFed podcast. I'm Candace Carrizales. And, I'm and uh, today, October 3rd, is the anniversary of my parents' divorce finalizing. Uh, wow, Candace. And I found this out through Facebook memories. That's such a crazy thing, those um, Facebook memories. You really can't guarantee what thing, you're going to yeah. get. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, no. It's not a bit. <laughs> what was the rest of your story? Yeah, no. <laughs> Go ahead, please. <laughs> I know it's going to happen, so there's no point. No, yeah, you're gonna going to tell an incredible going. story, and okay. we're going to we were, rapturously I was, enjoy it. I was riffing, dude. I was joking around. Just okay, continue. it was just Having a joke. Fun. Fun. It was a It joke. was a bit. No, I get it. I get it now. It was a bit. Um, so I was on the highway, and I it was really rainy. Like, it was down. The downpour was insane. And I felt my car just skid. I was going 80, guys. I was, well, come on. Why were you going 80? No, yeah, why were you going 80? I was going 80 because the speed limit's 75. And oh, okay. So, so, so you're fair deliberately enough, speeding. Yeah. Well, five over. I was telling Steve this today that f- I go, f- well, you know, five. Everyone okay. goes five over. Five over. Mm. Hey, interesting fact. Don't fall asleep. This one's actually cool. Uh, people that drive slow cause more accidents than people that drive fast. Well, and there's a lot okay. of there are a lot of cops that are like, "Hey, we need to get these slow people out of the left." Come on, man! I'm really trying. I'm listening. I'm here for you. No, that was a, just like cops are like, "Get out of the left lane if you're gonna go slow." That's yeah. I saw that video that went viral. They're making laws about it now. Zipper murder. They've already had laws. Yeah. Zipper murder. How do you guys drive? Fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay. Do you drive fast? Do you drive slow? I drive. I drive fast. I put my. I put my brakes through. Do through you open it up? A workout. I mean, I don't open it up, but you know, I'll. I. I tend to do like you know, go fast and stop. Like I go to the. I. I accelerate to the speed limit as fast as possible, even if that's not a smart thing to do. I uh, learned that radar detectors don't help. Just to be clear, they don't mm-hmm. help, and radar jammers are illegal. 
cool. which is a very important note if you're What's driving What's a radar fast, jammer? It's like a cop it's standing something that jams you, radar. And you, it's they're like zzz, and they can't see your speed because and then they're like, "Well, that guy has a radar jammer, so we're going to go pick him up." But cops now have lasers instead of radars a lot of the time for the radar wealthier. guns, the speed guns. <clears throat> So yeah. they can see how fast you're going. You ever been pulled over? You ever been pulled no. over? No. I've been pulled over. I've never been pulled over. It's terrifying. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah. I've been in a car with people getting pulled over, but I myself have never been. Did it still make you nervous? Um, Yeah. I was pretty freaked out. I was with my boyfriend at the time. Oh, and we boy. Were, and I was with two other guys, and we were coming back from a comedy show. Was the boyfriend driving? Yeah, the boyfriend was driving, mm. and it, it was just because he had a taillight out, but we mm. didn't know that. We were like, why are we being pulled over? And we were all, like, freaking out. We were mm-hmm. like, oh, shit. Like, like, what, what else is do you do? It's yeah. scary. Yeah, we were, and I was like, this is my first time being pulled over, so I was like, oh, man, what's going to happen? But then it's like, wait, it's fine. Nothing's going to, you know? And yeah. then... um. And then they didn't ask for his ID or anything, and I think he had an expired license and expired, like, oh stuff, but they didn't ask for it. And they just said, hey, what are you doing? And he was like, and that's what it was nervous. He didn't have, like, I don't think he had the right info. So, but then again, Oof. it's like, oh, if you get a ticket, it's not my problem. Yeah. I'm just in the car with you. Anyway, uh, yeah, they pulled him over, but then they just were like, where are you coming from? We're like, a comedy show. And he was like, oh, you, uh, you're watching comedy? And, and then my... <laughs> No. cocky boyfriend at the time was like no I was doing comedy and then uh, was this the night that you broke up with him so <laughs> no 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 you and then the cops say, were like the no cops were like tell me a joke <laughs> and then <laughs> he like, tells him a, tell a joke he I'm tells he tells them the joke and then the police officer laughs and they're like all right have a good night get your, t- <laughs> <laughs> get your headlight or tail light fixed or whatever so there we go <laughs> life hack uh, learn some funny jokes so it, that when you get pulled over, just, there you go. It was such a long joke, too, and I don't know. It's just funny. It was just so weird. Hey, another experience. Steven fact. Let's bring this one out. If you're getting pulled over, it's best to turn your lights on up top, keep your hands on the wheel, or if you're in the passenger seat, keep on the dashboard, keep your windows down, and be cordial. Steven tip. Thanks, guys. What about you? What's it like over? for you to be cordial? Um... Just like I'm meeting my friend's parents or my girlfriend's parents. Can you start treating me that way? Yeah. You Stuff know, slapping not... my knee. And we'll see. See, that shit hurts. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I know, it doesn't at all. No. You got strong um, knees. What were you going to say, though, Matt? I wasn't going to say shit. I wanted you to talk about when you've been pulled okay. over. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Shrek. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Even yes, we yes, can hear very you, well. Shrek. Why is this so? This is so loud. You're okay, sorry. Both of those. It's a powerful <sighs> microphone. You that okay? It. That okay is an inside joke. I can tell you guys about it after Matt over here. When's the last time I got pulled over? Oh. Uh, 1984. <sighs> it was so stupid. 2000. Sorry. No, it was it was last year. I, I used to have this really bad habit of, as I would pull out of a parking space. I would put on my seatbelt after I was already driving. Oh. And uh, and it was just stupid because I literally, I saw the cop. I knew what was happening, and I still kept moving forward. I passed by a cop car. They Oof. see me putting my seatbelt on. Oh, no. And they're like, what the fuck, dude? And literally a cop on a bicycle, you know, comes up after me. And it's just like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I know. You know, like, I'm in the wrong Whatever you got to do, do it. I'm sorry. Give you a fat old ticky? Yeah, you know, I was there for... The, the thing is, like, they make you wait. They make you wait for a long time. Um, mm-hmm. And I was there for, like, over a half an hour. Yeah, I had just bought my girlfriend uh, frozen yogurt, oh, and the frozen yogurt melt. melted. Melted. And uh, it was... Yeah, I had to turn around and go That back. story had a lot of tragedy. A lot of uh, just like it's not a tragedy. It's just I was just a dumbass. Do you have to I go back and get that. more? I had to go back and get more frozen yogurt. You're a good boyfriend, Matt. Well, it's, you know, it's if you're getting frozen yogurt. I don't even remember why I was getting it for her, but I think I like, I don't know if I had like fucked up to any degree, but I know she was sad, and the frozen yogurt was going to be a nice surprise. That was very sweet. Yeah. How are your guinea pigs? Uh, or one? Actually, uh, Lucy passed away. Oh God. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. Thank well, you. Well, um. Uh, how's... Let me tell you about the okay thing. Yeah. Tell All right. About the okay so thing. I do this thing. I don't even know if you know this. Matt knows about this. Yeah. And I go, 
okay. <laughs> and I've been doing this for is like... Is that just for like any situation that's uncomfortable or... No, just I just general? say it as a response. So if, if Matt were to ask me a question, I'd be like, hey, Candice, can you go grab this for me? I'd go, okay. <laughs> anyway, so the reason being is I have this Game Boy game, Shrek 2 Game Boy game. Or, uh, game, game Boy, Boy Color Advance. or Game Boy, game Boy Advance. Advance. Yeah. And I would play it, and when you switch characters between Donkey and Shrek, Donkey, when you switch to Donkey, he goes, oh, yeah. And when you switch to Shrek, he goes, okay. And anyway, that's the whole entire story, but I just love it so much. I just want to know He just, the... Shrek just seems so annoyed that he has to play the game. Okay. When you say okay, do you actually do, like, the thing that someone asked you, or do you just end it all with okay and then just stand there? No, generally you're agreeable. Yeah, I'm just doing. I'm just like okay, and then I go do it. Mm-hmm. That's pretty um, respectable. Just because it was kind of, it was like a little short and sudden, and and like I've mentioned, Lucy the guinea pig. I a just lot didn't know if you show. wanted to talk. No, about it's it's, it. it's, it's no fine, idea. and I just want to just so people understand what went on. It's just it was um uh, a little over a week ago. You know, she had been suffering from health issues for you know, almost a year, but, uh, got worse, like really, really suddenly. Um, and, um, you know, she, she passed away, uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, but you know, was with Denise and I, and, you know, was very comfortable. Um, a lot of people know how much we cared about her and, and came to like you her guys as well. Loved She's her a really, lot. really, really special animal. I'd never had a pet before. Um, so it's still, it's still a little weird. I can't even imagine gone. what that's like when uh, a pet dies because... Uh, You've never had a pet before? I had a fish when I was a baby boy. Yeah, like I had Pikachu. like a fish or like a caterpillar. I had a hermit crab. I didn't crab. understand it though. Yeah. Yeah, a hermit I had crab. a hermit crab and it was, and I cried so hard when mm-hmm. it died, but it was just like for like a little bit because ultimately it was a hermit crab <laughs> <laughs> you, how old were you? did you have to bury i it? was young i was little i was uh i don't know how did you bury hermy i don't know what we did with it we probably just my grandma probably just threw it in the trash that's fucking awful <laughs> that's awful we had a whole, uh, we had it a was grave. like a dying it came but the thing about the hermit crab was you bought the tank and stuff it was like a plastic container you bought it in a uh like at a store and then you'd have to send in a pamphlet thing or like a little thing and you'd mail it off and then they'd mail you the hermit crabs so they the hermit, send it in just like they, in a box yeah like in a box with with holes so i was mailed these hermit crabs so the one how did they survive the trip to you i don't know but UPS that's kind of my coffee mugs but that's probably why it like that's probably why it was did it die on the di- way to you? No, it was alive for a few months at least, and then it passed away, and it like just like left its shell. And I tried to shove it back in the shell. I was like, "Don't die on me." Anyway, that is so sad. That's really sad. Yeah. Oh my god, that's Candace. really sad. And then at the same time, I had this horrible <laughs> image that I don't know why I'm sharing, but of you trying to give the <laughs> hermit crab CPR. With your fingers. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. <laughs> Except oh. I was just shoving. My mom was trying to shove it back in the shell. <laughs> he was like really tiny. Its name was Pinky. Yeah, but well, you don't sorry have to, to av- get dark. No, you don't so have to avoid sorry dark, to get dark subjects. I mean, no, yeah. you're probably. Are you thinking right now about, about my dog? About your dog? Yeah. yeah, I was wondering. I can't even have you even fathom that. It's it's like it's a crazy horrible it's thing. Gonna, I mean, hopefully, be like decade or you know. a decade and a half down the line because these dogs are supposed to live like 14, 15 years. One of the dogs was born in a trash can, though. Yeah, I, just, I met her for... today. She's so cute. Yeah, I want to eat Winnie's her. Winnie's the star child of the group. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's Winnie and then there's Littlefoot and they're both Littlefoot the sweetest dogs cool of too. all time and if they die, I don't know what I'd do. What yeah. is it? People they... take it for granted. They don't think about it, but it's like, you know, they become part of your family. It is. It's. It's not just an animal. It's like a little person. So if you have a pet out there, give that thing some love. Damn it! Come mm. on, go show that pet in your life, or your parents some love because they need it mm-hmm. and you need it. What you should do afterwards. One thing that helped us, uh, Denise and I out. I, I took her out to Apple Country, a couple days What's after. That? Uh, Oak Glen, California. It's like ninety minutes away. I've talked about it before, probably on the podcast. Um, but it's just a small town that is nothing but apple orchards and barbecue. Oh, wow. And it's the most beautiful, peaceful place. 
and just go connect with nature. Have some apple cider. Have some apple delicious. cider donuts. Maybe Yum. you can have some barbecue. Yum. Sounds I like barbecue a lot. I have a secret Ooh. spot in L.A. Do you guys have your own little like comfort spot that you'll mm-hmm. go to? Mine is, um, I'm just going to ruin it, uh, <laughs> is on Zuma Beach. Or I guess it's like, I forget. <gasps> I got stranded on Zuma Beach one time. It's a what? Small Tell house. us this story instead. I can, but. No, do it. No, you should do it. Uh, okay, real you quick. I'll, just, I'll share my place real quick. <laughs> it's just, uh, if you've been to Zuma Beach, it's all the way to the left where the cove is. I don't know if you guys have been there, uh-huh. but there's a know. secret little nook Depending that Depending on where it. you're facing, there's a, there's a left So imagine direction. facing the ocean, okay. and you look left. So you mean to the south? Do, yeah, yeah, to the south. <laughs> to the I don't know, south. honestly. Yeah, yeah. south. Um, <laughs> and uh, there's a little spot that has a secret beach. And you go past that, and there's a secret little nook where the waves barely hit it, and it's real cool. So if you're ever feeling drowsy or incomplete, head on over there, and you'll be neat. So where did you get lost? Zuma Beach? I got lost at Zuma Beach. My favorite place in L.A. is a chicken wing place, and I'm not going to tell you where it is. I just found it. <laughs> it's called it's, Wingstop. I've been there <laughs> twice. No. It's cheaper than Wingstop, cheaper than Buffalo Wild Wings, Bing's cheaper than wings. Hooters. It's so good. And it's just like, I love wings. Oh, I want to go there today. Go What's there. the neighborhood? Uh, Hollywood. Oh. It is in Hollywood. Good luck finding it. You probably will. And Yelp. maybe you'll see me there. Use anything. Um, yeah. What about you? What's your favorite your little orchard place? Is, is the orchard place trying. your favorite place? Or no. let's get local. Uh, let's get, all right, let's get. Let's get a little personal let's and little local. Personal, oh, local. my God. My favorite spot. You know those shows on the Food Network where they're like, my favorite <laughs> food I've ever had. Mm-hmm. And they, like, just have, like, they, like. Yeah, it's There's the best thing I ever ate. Yeah, and they're the like, name. oh, it's so good. And you're like, great. It's I can't eat it. Cheese. You're not showing me how to cook. Well, it was, anyway. it was just so good. It was so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was the best thing I put and in I my mouth. And I took one bite, and I was like, this is the best thing I ever ate. Yeah, and that's what all of it is. People are yeah. like, it tastes good. It so it's good. so rich and creamy. What are the creamy. people watching that even thinking, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, Denise and I were at Jersey Mike's yesterday, and they had- Is that uh, your favorite no. <laughs> spot? Yeah, my favorite Local place spot. Jersey Mike's. <laughs> um, no, they, they had an episode of Unwrapped on there, and it's like showing how they make like candies and cookies and stuff, like, like, like junk food chains, like hmm. gumdrops and mm. uh, movie theater pretzels and things. I'm like, people enjoy right watching. It was enjoyable to watch. Hmm. Um, oh, God. Like a comfort place that I like to go- I I have a few places. I like going to the four and twenty. The four and twenty is is. it is like it's like a it's not a diner, but it's sort of like a family fair, old timey restaurant. It's Mm. like they founded it I think in like the early seventies. It's a pie shop. Um, I I'm a big fan of pie. Me too. Mm. Mm -hmm. What kind? Well, uh, fresh fruit pies definitely, but uh, apple pie, strawberry pie, lemon meringue pie. Meringue pie is fine. Pecan pie can be very, very good. Mm. Um, pumpkin pie, a little overrated. Still like it. Um, but uh, uh, there's like a, there are better places for mm-hmm. pie than 4 and 20. Um, uh, the pie hole in Hollywood mm. and downtown. But what makes you choose 4 and 20? It's just pie. like a very like comfortable That's place nice. with like... But it's not only pie. It's food, right? It's food, yeah. yeah. All Let us f- know in the comments the what your secret good. place to go to is, and we'll check them out for a video. Mm. <laughs> Uh, where else? He said uh, there's a few. There's a Sorry. few places. Well, that's like a good like oh, breakfast. Oh man, spot. I'm just trying my best. Yeah, you're doing you're doing a great job, Candace. <laughs> Candace, 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 Candace. Can I say you're doing a great job? Thank you. Yeah, I just reacted. There's We're not a, gonna do that. We're not yeah. gonna go to your favorite places. No, I like a. There's like a spot along Malibu where you're not at the beach, but you're kind of like you can park your car on the side of the road. Uh, and are just you talking step out about Nobu? Rocks. No. Have you what? been to Nobu? No, the the sushi place? <laughs> Nobu? No. Where I've the Kardashians never... eat? No, I've never been to Nobu. Me neither. It's too expensive. Yeah. You're going to shit it out in a couple hours. You know what, guys? Uh, that's why we're announcing today a source-fed GoFundMe to send us to Nobu. <laughs> send us to Nobu, Nobu, to Nobu, Nobu, Nobu. We're going to get some great fish. We're going to do a video about it, all about the fish. Was it worth it? I don't know. Not until you fund us and get us over to the Nobu fish. Same with my Kickstarter from earlier. I can't remember what it was, but mm-hmm. it had to do with b- b- Bugs Dicks. 
Mm, right? Uh, what? Can we not bring that up yeah, again? What were you talking about? No, I'm dropping it right now. Can we bring, what were you talking about though? About your food? <laughs> other yeah. food places. Other food places. Food. Other food. Um, Hugo's Tacos, delicious. That's and a chain, right? That's no, chain. Uh, no, I think there's only one. You ever been to really? Diablo? I've seen a lot Hugo's of Hugo's Restaurant. There's like three of them. Oh. But then the tacos, I've only seen the one. Okay, so I think I went to the wrong one because everybody's talking about Hugo's. So I think I went to the. Yeah. chain and i was like very underwhelmed yeah the restaurant's really overpriced and the food's just kind of fine the cool thing is everything on the menu can be made vegetarian or vegan okay. but the tacos is it's the same company but like uh all the meats are good they'll uh oh fish fish tacos the best fish tacos no. in ensenada best fish tacos in ensenada yeah oh uh. Oh, that was such a bad high five, but Best that is my favorite Ancinata. place. Is so good. Mm. You you know my finger bent back for that high five, but we're good. Uh, yeah, you gotta we're check all it good out. For it. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, go, oh, gotta check it out. Oh man, I was gonna ask you guys so we can get to know each other a little bit better. I already know my boy Matt quite well, but Candace, we're new to each other. We're new but connected at the soul because we connected the at same. the source because you have the we same kinda DNA. We kind of get each other. Well, we kind of get each other except for the dick thing and the, yeah, and the, the crummy tits weird. thing that was mean. that was rude yeah i felt yeah. bad about that afterwards Good, no, i'm glad <laughs> but uh i hope that's not how i'm known now is that dick that said crummy tits well i mean the more you say it <laughs> i honestly think it's a really funny combination of words um what was i gonna say i was gonna ask you guys a couple of basic questions to get to know each other Getting first off okay. i wanted to ask you guys what's your middle name oh that's personal mother's maiden name that's personal Favorite uh, food. That's personal. School that you first went to. Personal. This street street you grew up on. Hold on. These are all fishing questions. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to social engineer us and steal our passwords. You guys um, yeah. are clearly smarter than I was I giving you, gonna, you credit I for. I watched Mr. Robot. I know what's what. Well, are let you me just... ask me a better question? I'll answer a better one. Okay. Yeah. Let me bring out one of my better questions. Do you actually want to get right to know here. me? Is this a bit? What is your favorite movie come on this is a good Hustle one and flow. magic mike xxl a lot of people fair answer that. mine's there will be blood how about you hustle and flow oh actually hustle and flow cool actually, terrence howard's hustle great he's great in that he's had some personal issues oh he sure has yes that I he don't has even know. steven have you seen magic mike xxl of course candace have you really no yeah don't lie about it yeah. i'll freely say I, I haven't seen it i'd I like to yeah i haven't seen it i think i saw the first one but is You're XXL supposed to better? watch it with your girl. Yeah, I know. We got to get on that. Um, I watched the first one. I didn't like it, but I watched the second one before I watched the first one, so I really like the second one what better. the second one better? The first one is The first one has too drama. much story. It's too much story. a lot of story. There's a lot of drama in it. The second one is just comedy, road trip, buddy, buddy film, such good dancing, sexy men, like funny, good, and no issues. There's no There ain't no drama issues. in it? There's no drama in it. Every issue is solved in like 30 seconds. And it's just whenever I'm sad, I'll watch that movie. And I'm just like. It's just it's hot just, dudes being happy? It just feel Yeah, it's just like such a feel good movie. I'm not. It's like a therapy. Would like, you watch a hot dude road trip movie with Selena Gomez? It's Magic Mike XXL. Did they go on a road trip? Yeah. Yeah. They that go on a road so trip cool. to the men's stripping championship. Yeah, they have to go to a men a, stri a stripping convention. Yeah, it's basically D two the Mighty Ducks, but, but also, older and more naked. But also, it goes deeper than this because they're like, we're we're just gonna. I'm a firefighter. I'm a policeman. And they're like, we don't want to be firefighters and policemen. We, we want to incorporate. Dance. No, oh. we want to incorporate our passion for stripping, but with our other passions. So the one guy. Dress up like that. So Big Dick Richie he uses his firefighter skills to set that club on fire um, with his loins. That's his hose. A character in that movie. Big Dick Richie is not a character in Magic Mike. I thought XXL. that was the name of Joe Manganiello's character. Big Dick Richie? Yeah, oh. I thought it was a PG thirteen movie. Well, they don't. They don't call Who's that main guy's name? Big Dick Richie. <laughs> they call him that in the first movie. I thought. Oh, well, I remember the press. Let me tour. tell you, Bite as well. much as I love this movie and it's my favorite movie, I guess I don't know the characters' names. <laughs> yeah, oh you God. just are like Joe Manganiello, Alex Pettyboy. Am, Could I you love identify Joe Manganiello? Oh. If all those dudes were put on a pedestal on some stage and were all all their clothes were off and you only could see their abs, would you be able to identify them? I'd say maybe. I think having seen I the movie enough, you might be I able could to. Definitely I think I could definitely 
go. I could recognize Joe's, Channing Tatum, one, yeah. Tarzan's for sure. Tarzan and Tito. So you do know the names. And then that would leave. That would leave like Big one or Ritz- two guys, and then I would just like you know. Yeah, which one? Figure There's it out Matt from there. Bomer left probably. Mm-hmm. Alex Pettifer or is that mm-hmm. Tarzan? No, Tar- he's the little boy. Uh, Alex a little Pe- boy. A- Alex. You said Pettifer. Matt. That's a little boy. Oh, he's a little boy. Yeah. Right. In Magic I don't Mike know XXL? the names. I don't, I don't know, know, know the na- I don't know the other names. Now I'm getting confused. <sighs> I'm gonna need some. No, I don't need any clarification. Um, I think Channing Tatum is hilarious. I think that dude is so funny. And I don't know if you've seen his the serious movies he's been in. There's one by uh, that Steven director who's Steven not Steven Soderbergh. Soderbergh and uh, it's who directed Magic Mike and produced Magic Mike. No XXL. way. Yeah. This is full circle for me. What? Yeah, he's worked yeah. with Channing Tatum a bunch. Did he um? Did he make uh? What's that movie where it has the? Did he make her? No, that is Spike Jones. I never saw Damn that it. movie. That was a really good movie, but Channing Tatum, that guy is America's sweetheart. I think that he is the number one American person, white person, beautiful man, boy, right? If you th- if you're thinking of like a of a, the... I'd say Zac Efron. Really? He's way less successful though. Who? Zac, Zac Efron, Efron compared to Channing Tatum? Yes. Wildly Zac Efron on less Ellen? Successful. Um, I disagree. I judge how popular someone is based off of how many times they've been on Ellen DeGeneres. Okay. Well, so let's Channing pull Tatum up the Ellen DeGeneres. You've been on her personally. Page? Because you're not going to get any dudes on that list. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, uh, Tyler Oakley's been on Ellen, and that why that's why he's the number one YouTuber for sure in popularity. Like you can think of any YouTuber. I'm pretty Tyler sure Oakley that's t- PewDiePie. <laughs> no, he's been on Colbert. Yeah, he was on Colbert, which that's is not the Ellen show. I don't show. think that there's any way that that's not a way to judge success. Mm, I think it is. How do you guys judge success? All the Magic Mike guys were on. Uh, we're on Ellen. There's Magic Mike Live coming out, and I'm so excited to see you next year. I'm going to go to it. Are all the same people doing it, or no, is it like a different it's, cast? No, they're hired know. men that are male strippers and just beautiful bodies and Do they get naked? beautiful dancers. And they, Yeah, it's a stripping show, Do they but also get naked dance. In the movie? No, you never see it. But it's also dance, Steven. I think you're way too uh, consumed with the stripping element. What Candace is talking about is beautiful male bodies moving through space. What's something that's like. <sighs> the I movie is so movie. good and the thing is is like even though it's a stripper movie it's not like it's like all about like their dancing is genuinely so good but you're telling like, they're me you all don't even see just tam- a little bit of a dick no. no in fact you only see tits you see tits in the not first in movie the second one in the first movie olivia the munn the second is one is like for women it's just like it's like it's magic like xxl is like we want women to feel beautiful. We want, it's like, oh, yeah. Like everything they're trying to, s- <laughs> s- every, every, I'm like their biggest, I'm their biggest fan. Would you I do have a whole to be. podcast? What just other on Magic woman Mike? talks about Magic Mike all the time? Wait, Candace. It's in my stand up. Can is... I get like something free for Magic Mike, please? I don't know, like, but here's how you do it. Steven has a very, very good point. To the live show? Listen, you do a podcast where you watch Magic Mike XXL with a guest every single mm-hmm. week and whether they've seen it or not and you just you break down the movie and you break down what it brings out in your mm. guest and how it makes you feel mm. and you every episode you what campaign Magic every episode... Mike people you get me into that Magic okay. Mike the live experience I actually really like this idea and I think I might do it yeah. what you should, what you need to remember is that if Mike Falzone can meet Dwayne the Rock Johnson you can meet Channing Tatum I don't care she doesn't want to me- meet I don't want to meet Channing Tatum she wants to meet Joe Manganiello I want Joe Manganiello if you knew anything about me which is like this is so insulting Stephen um <laughs> And it's just like, I want to, you know, I, yeah, I want to meet Joe Manganiello, but I also, I mean, I kind of want to meet the whole cast and I kind of want to just like hang out with them and I want them to be like, you're our funny friend that's a girl. <laughs> you're a cool friend, Candace. And I'll just be like, yeah, strip for me. You know? And then they all strip for me and we're like, that's oh, we're just friends. the back and forth is like, oh, you're so funny, Candace. Holy shit. And you're just like, yeah, strip for me, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, that's the best. Much. Hey, dog. Strip the, for me, dog. That's our... Yo, yeah, that, me- that Mexican on... food was so tight. And your jokes, Candace, were the best. Let's strip. <laughs> Is that yeah. your ultimate dream? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, what? Imagine. Oh, imagine. 
A I'm, sitcom. I'm imagining. Channing a Tatum sitcom. Just giving you a back massage, mm-hmm. telling you how funny you are. This when... is a TV show pitch, people. Okay. This right. is just Network came to me right now. Network executives, unclog this your fucking ears. This just came to me right now, but this is a TV show, and it's Magic Mike, the TV show, and mm-hmm. it's just all about the guys hanging out. They all live together, whatever. They strip on the weekends, and I'm just like their friend. And then no, it's eight it's, guys and a girl. Yeah, and we're just all like, what are we gonna do this time? What are we gonna do today? And so you're the main character and we're all like uh, yeah i'm one of the main characters please <laughs> come on and uh you know we're all just eating chips watching tv and we're like what do we do today and then we all like just like hang out and go out and maybe we'll go to ross dress for less than one episode here is my here is maybe, my request uh... <laughs> i would like to make a request of the source fed podcast audience whether you are watching this on youtube or if you are uh, listening to this on itunes or soundcloud I want you to reach out. I want you to go into the comments of this video or, uh, or, or tweet at us the links to it. I want you to write some fan fiction. I want you to write stories from this show. I want you to write the stories of the Magic Mike guys and Candace hanging out, having adventures, and we will read your stories on this podcast. But nothing, no inappropriate adventures. Yeah, no, we're not talking this about sex. This is just sex. like Candace chilling with some cool stripper dudes. Yeah, and no, we're just love to yeah. hang out and strip. This isn't a sexual this thing. This isn't a sexual thing. And they're just mm-hmm. like, what shenanigans are Candace and her stripper best friends get into yeah. this How week? are they going to save the rec center? Okay, yeah. how are they going to oh, make I love rent? That. You know, the rec like, center is so important because that's where they like exercise. That's basketball. where they get, you know, yeah. Richie is a big, big Star Wars fan. And, they've invested- and, the, and the gang, they forgot to buy Star Wars Rogue One tickets. Yeah. How are they going to get maybe, Richie to go see the movie? That, that rec center, dude, they have so much invested in their semi-pro basketball team they have like their competitions coming up how's this gonna end i'm gonna get real pissed if i don't get to play my piano exactly all right so that's a serious your best story sample i don't know if you guys can see this but i brought it out here for a reason because i mean i think we should play ourselves off i think that's the only way to do it if if someone was just listening to this podcast and you just said, I don't know if you can see this, but I brought it out here and let's just play ourselves off. <laughs> it just legitimately sounded like you were about to do right some after, crass <laughs> Right stuff. after we're talking about magic, Mike. to your girlfriend's parents. Can we, uh, can we, you get that cool filter on it, though? Yeah, That's let me put on the cool filter. Put on the cool Thanks. filter. Okay, guys, um, are we ready? Don't do anything yet. And... <laughs> you want to do this part? Hey, thank you for listening to the Source Fed podcast. Go, 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 All right, I've had enough of this. This was a terrible idea. This is. I liked it. Whoa, just throw that piano. Uh, we can buy another one. I didn't mean one. to throw it. No, it's fine. I'll buy it. It would have been really, really funny if before the podcast, when you set it down there, I really was expecting you to just throw it down there, and I would have laughed so hard. I've broken too many things in this office yeah. over my entire course. I broke a bunch of batteries. I don't mm-hmm. know if you remember that incident. You broke no. a cockroach. I didn't kill Gen X. We know, 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 but I did ruin a bunch of batteries when I was here one time because I left them all charging when they weren't chargeable batteries and people were pissed to me for that. Do I need to do the what? The whole thing? You just need to mention our friends. Just thanks again to our friends. Well, honestly, thank you again to our friends from Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Woohoo! Oh! If you'd yeah. like to check them out, go to squarespace.com and use code SourceFed. Or, sorry, go use SourceFed.com. S- wow, Why use don't you go to squarespace.com, squarespace.com slash SourceFed. And you'll get 10% off your order. And you can man. also use the offer co- offer code SourceFed. It's 5 o'clock, everybody, and I'm starting to get hazy brained. And remember, don't use a website for business inquiries. That's a very important note. What a fun, weird podcast. I got offended a little bit. We had fun. We sang. We talked about Magic Mike XXL. How similar. We, we had were. a lot of interventions happening. Really? We learned a we lot talked about, about each other. A lot of stuff. And I gotta say, I'm a lot better friends with you guys uh, towards the beginning of this podcast than I've started out at the end. And I was gonna say, I'm gonna distance myself from you more now. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you all for watching. Or listening. The comments. Or on iTunes. Bye. Bye. Everybody stop f***ing. Everybody stop f***ing.
god, this Kanye oh. concert's dope! This is so good, Steven! The sketch group I used to be part of. Basically anything that was on that channel. Bye bye, let's not cut to a clip. Hey. Hey.